Pneumonia without fever. Is it possible? Pneumonia is a respiratory infection that affects the lungs. It causes inflammation in the air sacs or alveoli of one or both lungs. Although a fever is a common symptom of pneumonia, it is possible for a person to have pneumonia without a fever. A fever means that a person has a body temperature of 100.4 degree Fahrenheit or 38 degree Celsius or above. It occurs as a response to an infection in the body. Although fever is a common symptom of pneumonia, it may not occur in some people. This video will discuss who might not experience a fever alongside pneumonia. It will also look at the other symptoms of pneumonia and when to see a doctor. Is it possible? It is possible for a person to have pneumonia without experiencing a fever. One 2018 article notes that the symptoms of pneumonia do not always occur at the same time. It also states that some groups of people may not experience all of the typical symptoms of pneumonia. According to the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute, infants, older adults and those who have a weakened immune system may experience atypical symptoms such as a lower than normal temperature as opposed to a fever. The American Lung Association state that older adults and those with weakened immune systems may also present with fewer or milder symptoms. Older adults may also experience confusion. The symptoms of pneumonia in infants may include vomiting, coughing, appearing restless or turd, breathing difficulties such as grunting, rapid breathing, a bluish tint to the lips and skin, widening of the nostrils when breathing, the muscles pulling inward between the ribs when breathing. Typical Symptoms of Pneumonia According to the National Health Service, the most common symptoms of pneumonia usually include coughing, yellow or green mucus arising in the throat and mouth, difficulty breathing, chest pain which can worsen when coughing, a rapid heartbeat, shivering or sweating, loss of appetite. Some less common symptoms include fatigue, nausea, headache, coughing up blood. Types of pneumonia and their symptoms. The symptoms and when they appear can vary depending on the type of pneumonia a person has. The different types of pneumonia and their typical symptoms include Bacterial This is a common cause of pneumonia in adults. In the United States, the most common cause of bacterial pneumonia is Streptococcus pneumonia. Bacterial pneumonia can develop on its own or after a person has a cold or the flu. The American Lung Association note that the symptoms can appear gradually or suddenly and typically include a fever of 105 degree Fahrenheit or 41 degree Celsius or higher. Profuse sweating, rapid breathing, a rapid heart rate, bluish nail beds and lips, a confused or delirious mental state. Some bacteria can cause bacterial pneumonia with atypical symptoms. This is called atypical pneumonia. One example of this includes walking pneumonia which can cause milder symptoms. Viral Pneumonia Viral pneumonia typically occurs due to the common cold or the influenza virus. The symptoms can appear over a period of several days. Early symptoms include a fever, dry cough, headache, muscle pain, increasing cough, shortness of breath. 
fungal this may occur after inhaling fungal spores this may come from environmental materials such as soil or animal droppings according to the centers for disease control and prevention cdc people who have a weakened immune system may be more likely to develop fungal pneumonia symptoms can appear over several days or weeks and typically include cough difficulty breathing a fever chest pain fatigue chills hospital acquired those staying in a hospital may develop a form of pneumonia that occurs when the breathing tubes that medical professionals use to support breathing cause damage in the lungs symptoms include cough mucus chest pain shortness of breath a fever rapid breathing a crackling sound when breathing aspiration aspiration pneumonia can occur when a person inhales foreign objects such as food saliva or vomit that contains germs symptoms include shortness of breath that can appear suddenly a fever a crackling sound when breathing difficulty swallowing fatigue wheezing sweating slightly blue skin complications and risk factors according to the american lung association some complications of pneumonia may include sepsis respiratory failure acute respiratory distress syndrome which is a severe form of respiratory failure lung abscesses though these are infrequent groups who have a higher chance of developing complications due to a pneumonia include older adults younger children those with weakened immune systems those with other medical conditions including diabetes when to see a doctor a person should seek medical help if they have any symptoms of pneumonia however a person needs urgent medical help if they have any of the following symptoms a bluish tint to the lips or fingertips chest pain a high fever a cough with mucus that becomes worse